hey, hey, hey. Get your food. Get your food. If you say one more thing, I'm gonna knock you out. Oh my grandma, say one more thing, I'm gonna knock you out. Or a mother accused of ordering her son to commit murder. Saying hot topic, hot topic, but really it's not what you think. I want to break it down and show you the psychology of it, right? I know you've seen it. You know what I'm saying? The black mother in jail with her son for murder, murdering a man. Fourteen year old son kills a man. Black mother gets into it. Over, uh, over something at a restaurant. She picking up her food. Another black man with dreads. You know, they get into an argument. Black man with dreads punches her. Her son comes in and shoots the man. So, let's talk about it for a minute, right? <clears throat> let's talk about it culturally, right? Because, you know, being cultured doesn't mean... You know who you are. You know where you come from. Being cultured means you've been around, man. And you have empathy for the way other people live. Key word, man. We're going to touch on, right? The word empathy. So, I'm going to just keep it real. I see a lot of people online, you know what I'm saying? Saying, oh, that black woman's son did what he's supposed to do. And I'm going to be honest, that's sad. Because... When you look at it, you take the black man out the house who's the protector. <clears throat> and now the son feels like he got to protect his mom, right? And these black women, they're not raising a bunch of doctors and lawyers and people who can think, like, you know, rationally on what's going to happen next when, he's getting, when they get into these situations. No. They raise a pit bull. These women raise... Young men out here with the mind capacity of a protect dog. And that's why you see all these massacres, just like in, 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 in L.A. and Chicago, by these young black men. So, what do we do about it? Because it's sad. Well, we can learn from other cultures. You're not going to see a white woman doing that. You're not going to see an Asian woman doing that. You're especially not going to see an Indian woman doing that. And you for sure, where we originate from, you're not going to see an African woman doing that. Now, I'm not saying that man's right for putting his hands on that woman, disrespecting it. Because you see in the video, he's saying, ma'am, get your food and, you know, you know, go about your business before he strikes her. But I will say, he was probably also raised by a woman. You see? With those same protective and defensive instincts. And psychologically, he probably has a lot of mental health issues from dealing with women like that. That happens when women raise children without men and grow up as women without men. And that's what's sad about the situation. And if you want to look towards trying to for, for fix these problems in the community, the best thing you're going to be able to do, man, is get at that young black man when he a child. But he's also being protected by a woman with mental problems that's probably protecting him like a pit bull. So the cycle continues with these independent black women in inner city neighborhoods teaching their sons not to have empathy and you see how bad the world gets. <clears throat> and I hate to blame it on them. But this was a perfect instance of we're raising your child and being proud that he a killer man gone wrong. Because now two black men lost their lives. The man that punched that woman 
And and I know what y'all thinking. Oh, he should hit a woman. He should die. That's why a world woman will never be president. Yeah, he put his hands on that woman. He should he he should he should get a penalty for that. But not death. Not death. And when you remove the man in the house, those young men try to make up for not being able to handle those threats. And that's why you have so many violent youths in the inner city. It's the blind leading the blind. You feel me? And <clears throat> again, the word empathy. The word empathy isn't, um, you know, understanding. But putting yourself in somebody else's shoes and realizing what they've been through and accepting them for that. And as men, we always got to stand up for others and protect others. Our jobs is to work and provide for our families. <clears throat> when you find women that do that, that's an extra ability. Most women think they good just because they fed and raised their kids. And really, they get that fucked up between that being a responsibility. Now, when you overachieve, that's when you deserve credit. And what I see in the city now is it's just completely pathetic, man. You know what I'm saying? These inner cities... They all filled with single woman, low income housing. And you see these gangs is running rampant. And that's the lack of discipline. Everybody in that situation deserved to die. And I'm going to leave it at that, man. It's your boy K Code, man. I'm out. Make sure you tune in, subscribing. Go to kcode3.com for that authentic. Yeah, not only that mom who's accused of giving those shoot-to-kill orders is now being held on $3 million bail. Once outside of the restaurant, while the co-defendant was still shooting at the victim, the defendant instructed her son, the co-defendant, to continue to shoot and kill the victim. Once the co-defendant finished shooting the victim, the defendant turned her focus towards witness one. She began pointing at witness one and instructing her son to shoot her. Prosecutors say the hood even tried to get the gun from her son, but he pushed her away. No shots were fired at that witness, who is also the victim's girlfriend. Both mother and son facing murder charges. She's also charged with contributing to the delinquency of a minor. The teen boy also facing unlawful use and possession of a firearm. Both were told did surrender themselves to police yesterday. We're also told that Hood, the woman charged in this, the mom charged in this, also had a FOID card herself and was licensed to conceal carry. Reporting live. And if you're looking for a great read, pick up Night and Dark Armor by Cody Williams. It's a true story about a man fighting with an evil baby mom over the love of his son. Man, check it out. It's on Amazon or you can get it on kcode3.com.